And we're back! Welcome back to Super Hostile Inferno Mines. We're in the Victory Monument for a short little while to resupply, and then we'll be heading back to Castle Ember to set up that creeper grinder that I want to make. First thing I want to do, though, is I want to do a little roll of the dice and try to get a diamond chest plate with protection. I've tried to enchant a number of books and uh, ha have not managed to get a protection enchant and haven't found any in the game. Fire protection, damn it. Uh, you know what, let's try one more. Let's go grab some little bottles of enchanting and let's try, let's just try one more, why not? We can get up to level 30 and we have fairly easy access to diamonds. So I'm gonna roll the dice once more. People keep telling me every time I make a book, they keep telling me, hey, uh, you know, there's a pretty low chance of getting protection four on a book, or even protection three or anything like that. And you're better off doing a chest plate. However, um, resources, at least until I got access to all, the, all that iron and now all the diamond, resources have been so um, hard to come by that I've just done it that way or done without projectile and thorns. Damn. Oh, well, uh, I do want to upgrade to diamond gear. People also tell me that, uh, protection has been, uh, nerfed. I know it got nerfed once a while ago and that, um, maybe it got nerfed again in 1.5. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look this stuff up. Stuff is always changing. I'm always <laughs> like one step behind on one thing or another. Uh, so people tell me that just a straight up diamond chest plate is now better than an iron protection for uh, iron chest plate with protection for uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I haven't looked at the numbers. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but people tell me stuff all the time and <laughs> I can't uh, just believe all of it. Um, okay, so we are going to be heading back into Castle Ember. Oh, by the way, uh, you know what else you can do in the game? You can take slime balls, which I had some drops from, I think I had some actual real slime balls, which have been sitting in there in my redstone chest to turn into sticky pistons. I also had some from the wraiths drop, uh, ghost slime. You know, you can combine that stuff with blaze powder. Guess what you get? Magma cream. <laughs> so I guess, you, hey, you don't need uh, magma slimes. Hey, did any of you know that? I bet none of you knew that. I bet none, of, not even one of you knew that you could uh, make some fire resistance potions in this map. Okay, so let's head back to Castle Ember. So here we are again atop the Castle Ember, ready to head in. We got to rebuff, and we have a new addition to the re little rebuff station. Smatch! Uh, so now we added uh, uh, fire resistance. We've got six minutes. We have to clear that room. I didn't quite finish the area. I got the wool and got out. Yeah, so let's see if I can remember how to get to that specific place. I think we basically just go straight down. And since I've already done some lighting up, initially I'm going to try to just go straight in through the front door. If you remember, there was... Actually, let's uh, let's quit breaking our ankles for a second. It's distracting me. Um, I lit up a little bit of it, and nothing should be spawned now because I've been gone for a while. So let's see if we can get in there and do something. If not, I will resort to um, more tactical decisions, <laughs> I guess you might say. Oh, witches, that's right. And, oh, this is pigmen. Okay, I forgot about the pigmen. All right, never mind. Forget that. Let's do it the fun way. Or let's do it, uh, rather, my way. It's my way or the highway, and there's no highway, so it's my way. If I can remember how I got in there. It's been a little while since I played. I went away on vacation for a few weeks. Now I'm back. Okay, thank you for not being a fish. Um, let's see. Oh. Let me have a lava bucket. Ow, something shot me. And I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Lava bucket ho! Lava bucket ho! There we go. Lava bucket ho! There we go. Lava bucket ho! 
Um, okay, so there's a little bit of darkness over here. Okay. Great. Well, let's run around and light this up now that this happened. Uh, I'm decently armored. I'm pretty... Kinda tanky at this point. Oh, boy. So let's just run through and light it up then and try to avoid getting explodified. I'm not too worried about the zombies. I... I don't want the creepers blowing up, because I don't want them knocking the torches off the wall. Yep, all you can burn in hell. Oh, except the pig man, which won't. Okay, block! Oh my god, okay. Keep an eye on your health. Okay, take out the witch. That's important. And as long as I keep an eye on the health... Um, there, she's dead. Kill him. This guy. And I also want to keep an eye on my pants. Because those will be very hard to replace. But it, it's going to be kind of hard to kill me if, as long as I don't get uh, careless or don't fall a long distance. I even have, uh, you know, I'm immune to lava now as well. Uh, okay, I'm not quite lighting that up. Need to get a torch up top. And there are, uh, there are pig derps running around. So let's not forget about that. Come get some. And I can afford to play very aggressive now. Uh, pants are still fine. I haven't really taken that much durability. Okay, so these guys, they must be falling down from above. Right? Yeah, okay, they all are. Let's, um, I need to go back up. Okay, guy. Oh. So basically anything that doesn't instantly disintegrate before the might of my pickaxe is going to be silverfish. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is, well, this is one right here. Um... That is a fish. That's a fish. Okay, so we can come back in like this. I want to be up there. So I can light up that side. So let's do something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Trying to knock me around. Oh, and my food is situated. I need to eat some food. Okay, let's back up for a second. Stay there. Don't move. Okay, dumb witch. There are more witch spawners around here. Those are definitely want to get rid of. And I have a bunch of garbage in my inventory that I don't want, which I'm probably going to pick up as soon as I jump back down there. Let's just do this. I've sort of reprioritized. I almost always... Oh, yeah, I am going to... Darn time. Uh, I almost always have... You know what? All right. Whatever. Okay, blow up. Whatever. As long as you don't destroy my spawners. Okay, so I'm up here now. What was I saying? Oh, I've reprioritized my hotbar. Almost always leave a, sp a space for food, but... Uh, with the amount of things I want to be... Oh, don't blow up. Yeah, that's a creeper spawner. I don't want that blowing up. And there's a guy over here, so... Did you spawn out of this fun box now that... Maybe since the lava is kind of... Reducing? Here, have one of those. Have fun with that. Oh, and my... Okay, I need to pay attention then. My, uh, my enchants have worn off. Or my potion effects, whatever. That's important. Okay, these are all lit up. Those should be good. Um, I'm not even to fire anymore. <laughs> it's important to keep those kind of details in mind. Keep that side lit up, that side lit up. And I'm gonna go through and um, remove the obsidian, destroy everything but the creeper spawners. Once I 
Oh, okay, more guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of the uh, pig derps because they are not affected by lava. Let's see, what else we got? Anything down here? There's the pig derp. Is he right on the other? S I think they're right on the other side of the fleecy box, so we can actually take care of them. Uh, I have no desire to farm them ever. I've I have battle signs if I want them. Hmm. Okay. I think the witches are affected by fire, aren't they? Or are they? Oh no, they can take potions. That's right. So we need to get basically over there. I'm gonna use this wall. Close that up. Okay, guys. Get out of here. Bow a little bit. Then these guys out. Make a little wall, a little walkway. Dug it. And they can seem to hit me from at least the distance I can hit them, even though they're only using signs. Who fights with a sign anyway? Come on, guys, get with the times. Oh gosh. All right. Yeah, yeah. There's not in here with me, are there? No. Oh, they're coming in here now. That's good. All right, guy. All right, good. So, that's fish. Good. Can I use a little of that? Gotcha. Okay, I'm trying to... Yeah, great. Stuck in a hole. But I uh, I got rid of the spawner. I think that's probably the only one. But there's still some witch spawners. Anyway, this area has kind of been pacified, I guess you might say. Mm, no, not yet. Not quite. Not quite. We're almost there. Don't blow up. Oh. oh. All right. I guess. That's fine. I don't really mind. I'm not that concerned. As long as I keep an eye... Oh, I think I splashed that guy. So we have one more to take care of. How did I get down here? Up through here. There's one more fleecy box. Or, not fleecy box. Uh, fun box. Am I slowed? Was I slowed just there? I seem to be moving weird. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! See that? Alright, where is it? Over here? This one? That's why I brought all these lava buckets, so I can light this place up express style. There's that one. There's still at least a, a few zombie pigmen up. But anyway, uh, I think this area has kind of been pacified. Oh, look, he swam up the lava. Awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Maybe I'll eat some bread for variety's sake. Damn it, the witches are swimming up too. And they're immune to the lava. I gotta get rid of this witch. Um, anyway, this area is kind of pacified. I'm gonna do some more work clearing it up off camera since I've been here three times now, or two times or whatever. And then we'll uh, we'll start making the uh, creeper grinder, which should be fun. All right, all the creeper spawners have been exposed. I think I've gotten it to the point where nothing is spawning, and I've managed to keep them all. I didn't remove all of the obsidian until I had the area pretty bright to begin with. Um, had to ret... Oh, no. Sorry. That's a lie. There's still some spawning from there. Uh, let's see if we can get some light. I probably should have brought some glowstone. This is going to be, <laughs> lol, temporary. Um, this lighting setup, I'm eventually going to want it dark again. So maybe it's not a huge deal that there's one or two spawning. As long as they don't blow up any of the actual spawners, I think it's all right. Um, okay, so a potential, not a potential, but a definite issue that came up. Uh, before I talk about the issue, though, you know one thing that definitely bugs me? This has always irritated me that the the buff effects here from potion effects, 
they're totally different icons than the normal icons. Now I'm using a texture pack, so I have a different sword, but it's always bugged me that these, for instance, the strength icon here is not the normal Minecraft sword. What the heck is this sword? I've never seen a sword like this in the game. And this fire, little fire icon, why isn't that either the fire charge or the fire, little fire animation icon? I've never gotten that. Okay, so we have a few down here. We still have some creepers spawning. That is troublesome because it means that they might blow up some of these spawners. Anyway, okay, so here's the issue with our spawner uh, grinder, our creeper grinder. They are too far away. So right now you can see there's these four guys, and we can just do this visually. I could use F3 and calculate by, you know, am I 16 blocks away or not or whatever. Uh, but we can just do it visually because if we get far enough away, they will stop spinning and stop being on fire. Like that one just shut down. This one just started up. Now we're too far away. So to get those four uh, lit up, we're in range of these guys. So now that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten are all turned on. We've got a creeper down there. Please don't blow up my spawners. And something's on fire over there. Uh, those guys are on. So it looks like 12 of the 20 potential spawners are, we're going to be able to use, which is still, it's twice what I had in the old Creeper Grinder. I think I had five, something like that. So these guys over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I think two more down underneath here somewhere. Yeah, right there, those two. Those eight we won't be able to use, unfortunately. But it doesn't really matter because with hoppers, I'm going to be able to make this a very passive system uh, where the item uh, collection is automatic. They'll just, um, they're going to die. Basically, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the wither skeleton. And because they're not dropping stacks of uh, gunpowder, which would actually be kind of neat of a, for a custom spawner, uh, because they're not dropping that. I don't have to worry about them uh, falling onto hoppers and then the hoppers collecting the stuff. So what we need to do... Damn. Oh, man, that's annoying. Okay, what we need to do now... Which one are they spawning from? We've got a bunch going. Uh, it's possible I still have an issue with the lava, where it used to be bright from lava, and now it's not. Are they possibly spawning right there? Maybe they're spawning down here. Let's keep an eye on it for a while. I don't think these two are spawning. Anyway, uh, all of this is silverfish, and we need to blow our way through here because we're going to have to make a uh, a dropping trap. It doesn't have to be very big because we're going to use piston, pistons to push them down it. And we're going to just build some platforms so that they can uh, walk down there towards me where they think I am. I haven't seen any spawn. Um, so you know what, I think what I'm gonna do, first thing we need to do is dig that dropping trap. And then after that is set up, after it's deep enough, we'll start connecting. Um, basically, I want them to fall onto a platform, walk towards a central position, and then get pushed down a hole. So we're gonna be able to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10 over there, uh, 11, 12. So the central position for them to fall down is probably going to be right about there. Let's come down here. Now, if they blow up down here, there's no way they're going to blow up that guy. So that's all right. Now, this is silverfish, otherwise known as fish, which is uh, this what Vex calls them because that's what Zombie Cleo calls them. So I think we may go down right here. And because I don't want the silverfish just overrunning everything, please don't blow those up. That's why I left this obsidian here. Uh, I'm going to explode my way down. Okay. <laughs> Light it back up. Uh, works pretty good. I wonder what the blast resistance rating of silverfish cobblestone is. This, I guess it's probably the same as cobblestone. Since they... I don't know, do, when they go into cobblestone, do they change it to a different block? I think they do. It's um, In MC Edit, it's, it's a different block. 
Uh, actually, let's not do that. Let's do one at a time. And I repaired all my gear. I had to retire the... Uh, whatever it was called. Um, Hunger, to, Hunger the sequel. Even Hungerer. I had to retire that guy. Breaking all the obsidian around here. I probably should have saved it. Oh, yep. He fell down from these guys, right? Was that where he fell from? Probably this corner right here isn't bright enough. Because they're going to spawn in mid-air. They are spawners. They don't obey the same rules as, uh, <clears throat> as natural spawns do. Hey, buddy. Chirp, chirp. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to blast a hole. Then we're going to build a trap. And a lot of this we've done before, so I'll do most of it off camera. Hopefully there's not... Oh, bedrock. That's not good. Damn it. Oh, this is protecting the wool room. Can you destroy obsidian with TNT now? Because you didn't used to be able to. I think that may have changed because some of these fun boxes were not whole when I got to them. And I'm thinking they were partially exploded. Let's find out. This used to be immune to TNT. And for that very reason, it was used in certain constructions when you didn't want TNT to blow it out. Let's put it right there. See if it blows up any of those. One of the things that may have changed. No, it's just sort of a scattered pattern already. Okay. Okay, so this may change things. If I can't make a dropping trap here, is this going to be... Darn it. Okay. Well, we may have to figure out something else, but I'm going to clear out an area, clean this area up, and um, see what we can do. All right, I think it is about time for an update. Let's see. Okay, let's drop off a little bit more of that. Uh, I actually will need the redstone a little bit. Okay. So I've managed to transform the area quite dramatically. Let's actually take a peek here. Right about here should be a good spot. Yeah, this is what the room looks like now. I've had to sort of reimagine what I could do with a creeper grinder here because of the fact that the floor is made of obsidian and it seems to go for a pretty good direction in, in, any, uh, in any way I've looked. I dug this way under the lava for a while and all obsidian. So this is what it looks like now. We're going to use pistons. Um, besides those pistons, we're going to use basically more pistons to make a crushing trap. I have to always keep my eyes peeled walking down here. Oops, that's not my staircase. That's my staircase. Okay, so here's the little point at which you will stand to trigger the thing. Actually, they're going to be coming up. Let me, let me wait to show you that. Uh, let me kill these guys. Yeah, this is, um, there's a flaw in this system. I should have used ladders right here. Actually, let me change this up. I recently opened up down there before they used to be trapped in there, but I've been working on getting some wiring done. Let me just close that so they can't get out. <laughs> I've been working on the wiring, and now all of a sudden they can path to me. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's put some ladders just right here for right now. Once I get the thing buttoned up, it won't matter. But for now, it's probably safer if we do it like that. Man, so many oh, so many bricks I've used. And we'll just put that like that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Whoa, hey, okay. And then let's break this. I'm probably going to want a ladder down to this for access later anyway, and not a uh, staircase. Okay, so they're stuck down there. Uh, basically, what we have here is a crushing trap. Whoop. Okay, they can get out on that side as well, huh? There's a crushing trap here. How it, oh, they're coming out the back here. Right. Let me close. Is that all of them? Okay, this is the place where they're going to fall down to right here. Let me close that. Okay, now we should be good. They're going to fall down there, and then when I trigger it, or more likely on a timer... Uh, these guys are going to activate pushing the pistons this way on this wall. 
And that way on that wall, a simple little crushing trap. And I'm going to set up a timer for it with a... Uh, oh, this isn't my way out. Uh, with a... Uh, um, what's it called? A latch. I'm going to use a latch to uh, set up a timer for how long it crushes. But here's the basics of it. They're trapped down there now, they, so they can't... This is basically what happens. Uh, we'll just wait for a few to spawn. I, I could have, you know, just left all kinds of blocks here in the air. But I've just been dealing with them. They've been trapped in here most of the time, and I haven't had to worry about it. Anytime I go back to the Victory Monument for blocks, they despawn, yada yada. But they're going to get pushed down here by these pistons. They're going to see me here in the center, run towards the piston, gets trapped, and yeah, that happens. The, man, the, the, the hissing timer is really <laughs> scaring me. But so far, no explosions, so I think it's relatively safe, as long as they can't get up here, which I don't know how they could. Um, then we can do this, and now they're all trapped there. Like so. Yeah. We can open it up. Now, um, now that they're all trapped down there, you'll notice that uh, this block here and this block here is where they're getting trapped. Wah! Damn it, I knew that would happen when I tried to do this. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, it's not actually a big deal. Um, it's just kind of annoying and losing more blocks. But we're going to use... Um, let me make sure that that's kind of closed as well. We're going to use... Oh, no, we have to do this backwards, don't we? Yeah, we're going to use hoppers. So let's just go ahead and start him there. Trail these guys backwards. Uh, let's see, we want them to go under here like this. And I'm within range of at least one of the spawners here. So they're basically going to go like that. They're going to get crushed on these blocks. Items are going to go through these hoppers. I'm one block shy. I keep uh, losing them. I th we can probably break that. Oh, and it, w <laughs> it went in the hopper. Okay. Close that up. Okay, so now we won't have to ever open that again. Let's get a few more blocks just so I can close that up. And eventually, I will put some chests here. But basically, that's how it's going to work. I thought I'd give you an update because I've been working on this thing for hours. <laughs> hours. Figures, man. I get back from vacation, and I'm like, man, I really got to get back in the swing of things, get some videos produced. And I spend all day on one video. <laughs> Of course, it always happens like that. Let's see, did he blow up any... He blew up that repeater. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, um, I'm going to have to go back in there then. Is that all he blew up? Maybe we can dive bomb out there. Oh, I'm so good. Okay, get out. <laughs> I wonder, can they walk on hoppers give, give me my blocks back um oops there he is oh and the the blocks went back in the hopper there okay we should be good and working as intended gunpowder ends god that scared me and <laughs> ends in the hopper if i can get this thing set up and of course i probably could have made it a lot easier i just had to make it pretty man i had it had a window leading out there into the only vista you can really see. Man, that just creeps me out the whole time. And they'll just basically gather there until I set up the timer to burn them. But that's it, and I'll, uh, I'll probably give you another update once I have the timer done and all these torches off the walls. All right, see you then. Okay, so I've got just a few more torches to get these guys right here. Let's see, they are right where this cracked brick turns to normal brick. Right about here. Yeah. Something like that. So that's one right there. And then the other. And is there one in the middle? I don't think so. I think that's probably it. Okay, let's close this up. Let's light that back up. I don't want any creepers actually spawning there. Uh, let's dump off some garbage. I'll clean this up later, actually. Clean this up later, I said. Okay, 
Uh, oops. Damn it, I've done that too many times. So the outside of the actual farm is not very pretty. It's pretty ugly, in fact. Pretty blown all to hell. But it works, and <laughs> watch it go. Oh my gosh. And this is kind of scary a little bit. Uh, but they need, I think they need to be able to see me here, so I can't just encase myself in bricks. Otherwise, oh my gosh, so many creepers. This, let's see what happens if I do that. Our guys on either side, they're going to stop pathing towards me. I bet, yeah, like that guy right there. See that? Yeah, they need line of sight, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm... If I go AFK here and this all blows up, but I think it should be all right. And then every however so often, the timing of it is set up, they'll get put down there. Oh, 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 those little guys. And then we give them the squeeze. I said we give them the squeeze. There we go. <laughs> and I had to extend these bars down so that once they're down there, they can't actually see me anymore and they stop. Damn it! Ah, oh, great. Great, 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 great. Oh, I wish I could add lights to these to fix... Darn it. Well, uh, <laughs> you get the idea, though. Let's head down and look... Oh, God. And give them the squeeze! I said give them the squeeze! Yes! Okay, I think it's working. They've done several cycles in a row here. So after repairing it, what I had to do, I basically uh, went up the sides of the walls and put torches back. Uh, just to slow them down enough so that I could work. And repaired what had been exploded, which wasn't all that much. But it, basically what I did is to limit their line of sight... I extended these iron bars down much farther, all the way down to that ledge, so they shouldn't be able to see me at all, ever. Uh, hope hopefully, that is the theory, but who knows, with all these pistons going, one of them might bug out. Uh, there might be some sort of update mechanic. I mean, this is when in 1.5, so that stuff should have been, or was supposed to be fixed, so who can say, but when stuff like that happens, when one of them triggers a pressure plate here, and that gives another one a way back up, this would have been way safer had that bedrock floor not been down there. I could have I could have made the uh, the vertical distance between this level and that level much higher. Hey, if, if that if that bedrock floor wasn't there, this would just be a dropping trap instead of a crusher. Uh, but it works. It's definitely working, and it seems to be stable. Probably what I'll do is I'll leave it for maybe 30 minutes. Um, I'll be doing something else, but I'll, I'll have it on my screen so I can tell if something blows up. I can pause the game or something. <laughs> now, this is going to generate a lot more, a lot more gunpowder than my last one, which I think, off the top of my head, I think it maybe had five, five to seven creeper spawners, and there's twelve here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And it hasn't messed up again yet. So we're going to say it's probably safe. Let's go see how many we have already. Two and a half stacks. Two stacks. So um, four and a half stacks just from messing around with the thing. And oh, I guess that's it. I guess that's it then. So next time we'll continue adventuring uh, probably with a ridiculous amount of TNT. I will no longer be burdened by worrying about running out of my precious TNT. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. And then we give it the squeeze. I said we give it the squeeze.